Hey, welcome to uh, Horsley Adventures um, Retirement. Yeah, I don't even know what the thing is, but anyway, uh, somebody asked me to show them how to how I back up my truck and put my boat in all by my lonesome. So I'm going to do that. So I got it all ready. I leave this on. Pretty important to leave that on when you're backing it up by yourself. I always put my tailgate down. All right. And then Chris is going to video me doing this, and hopefully I do it correctly. Chris is back! I'm back. I'll narrate this. Do that. This is not part of it. No, this is not part of it. You may have to edit this part out. I don't know how to edit. Oh, and what's the most important thing of all, Paul? The plug! You Make always sure plug in. <laughs> every time. No matter how, every time. Quit Person. quizzing me so much. I know. Okay. All right. So I'm going back it in. All right. Mm. Turn off the annoying uh, backup thing. Now, where we live, there is a lot of current. I, you know, way more than normal places. So you really have to be careful doing this. This really is a um, situation where you can't mess it up because your, your boat will be a mile down the river very quickly. Now comes the young man's thing. It'll take me a while, but gotta get up here. I always leave this on until I know it ain't going nowhere. That way, if your uh, motor doesn't start, you're right here, and all you got to do is crank it right back up. If you're not committed yet, so he backed it up just until the. That's it. That's how easy it is. Backed it in just until the back end floated. Didn't take any chances. And now he's launched. <laughs> and now, since I'm here, I'll I'll park the truck for him. How about that? I'm a nice guy. GoPro, stop recording. And I wait for my buddy. And Chris, we're off. back from vacation! And we're off. Woo! You're off. I'm still on. You're off. Okay. It's Chris and I again. You got the boat dirty in a hurry. I you did. Am I driving? No, I'll drive. Bro. Chris complaining already. Boat's dirty. Because no, uh, I'm, I'm concerned about you. You're the one that you're concerned about the boat. I'm dirty. I do like a clean boat. I'm gonna tell you right now. Like the odd couple. We are like the odd couple. The Oscar. Chris is uh what kind of warning? Do not rely on this. Okay. I'm not gonna rely on that navigation. The fish there already. Woo! It's gonna be a great day. My buddy Chris is back. It don't look like it, but it's gonna be a sunny day today. It's just foggy because the water temperature is lying. It ain't no 49 degrees. It can't be. It might be though. It feels chilly. Chris has a fish. What you got? got a crappie. Crappie! Little guy. Oh, oh, oh no, I ain't little. You can clean him. That's a good one. Did you want to show him to me? Huh? Do you want to see the fish? I just wanted to get him close to you. Woo! Yes! Crappie number one. We just we just locked the boat in. I told Chris. Chris! That's, that's a pretty fish. Okay. Let's put him in this light ball. He's so friendly too. Yeah. They're friendly out here. They are. They're very friendly guys. Put him in here. Just letting, letting him kind of hang around down there. And then, you like a little fish. Fish on there. And then, he started reeling. Yeah. Paul was talking. 
I'm always talking. I've got a few accidents. I'll stop talking. Actually, I think I was talking. You were talking, and I said to you, I said, this is right where yeah. right where I was yeah. the other morning where I caught, caught a fish. So I said, that's what I said, and then Chris caught a fish. And, and Chris, Chris. Chris said, I said, and boom, fish! And then that guy was the guy's hammering. Hammering. And that kind of was dead. Like yeah. But this is where uh the other morning when it was low tide, yeah. this is where I caught fish. So what you're saying is it's a pattern. Huh? <laughs> I said, I said, There's a pattern. Hello. Pattern. Pattern. What pattern. I'm saying is There's a pattern. If you don't like that reel, I got another pole right here. I'm about to turn pattern on you. A pattern. George Patton. Okay. If you start crying, I'm gonna slap you. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you, soldier. This is it. This is the spot. Okay. Early morning on the river. Okay. Chris caught a fish already. That's what Chris, that's what Chris does though. He catches fish. He's a fish catcher. From way back. Back in the day. Okay. Alright. I know there's more fish here. I don't see them like, I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit off, but right there is where I marked them. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, yeah. because I was like, just letting it drift, you know, behind the boat. Yeah. yeah. He wasn't real deep. He wasn't real deep. I don't mm -hmm. think. He might have been five or six feet. Get out of town. No, because we were close to the pads, weren't we? Were we? Right? When yeah. I, Probably. Yeah, we were right up there. Probably. How'd you get this boat so dirty? I don't know, man. Oh, I need to give that fish the water. There we oh, go. Oh, oh, Christopher! I use that one when he misses fish. That I was think. right in the, that was right in the same. Right in the same locale. Yeah, it's about maybe 15, 15 feet off the lily pad. Oh, where's another fish jumping? We got fish jumping. We got what are those things? Uh, buzzards are flying around. And this is where we're fishing, right up there. In the pads. Not in the pads, but. <laughs> Those are crows. We got crows, buzzards, Chris, fish. It's cold. What do you say it is? About 49? Yeah, but the, but the moisture helps. Yeah, oh, yeah, moisture feels like 39. Moisture warms it up. <laughs> how water yeah. is warmed. <clears throat> yeah, and like in a bathtub? Yeah, but I think that comes out of the hot spigot. Oh. Yeah, there ain't no hot spigot here. It's cold. It's cold, chilly spigot. All right, Paul, time for you to catch a fish. What do you mean, uh-uh? You know, I did catch a lot on your uh, your pink and green thing too. Yeah, I saw that. We... I gave you credit for it for the jig. Customary catch the two fish limit, and now it's my turn to fish now. Okay, Paul, you're allowed. I'm allowed to catch a fish now. I can actually throw my pole in the water. Yep. Now you can fish. All righty. Here we go. Right back there in that. Where we saw that, where we saw that gathering thing, yeah, that big gathering. glob. Gathering we saw a big glob of something. Big glob of. We're hoping fish. That's what we're hoping for. Yeah, that's what we're out here doing, fishing. We're not killing it. As soon as I say we're not killing it, Chris catches another fish. Crappie? Uh, yeah. Woo! -hoo. You mean that? 
I mean, I don't... That is a crappie there. Chris, I'm very proud of you. Now, I've always, you know, I've always, I've always been proud of you, but that's a nice crappie. I mean, he ain't huge, but boy, he's pretty. Huh. Handsome fella. He's a handsome crappie. Good job, Mr. Nichols. Well, am I glad I brought him out because I wouldn't have nothing to show anybody right now. I ain't, I ain't catching no fish. I'm not, I haven't caught a fish yet. I'm not complaining or nothing. Yeah, I got a frog on there, though. But you caught him right where that big glob was, right? What did I do with my pole? I think I just took it. Is this yours? It's a <laughs> Is that your pool? I don't know. Yeah. You can tell by the by the noise? Yeah. Oh here's my pool right here, Chris. Is that my pool? <laughs> no, this is mine. That's got the froggy on it. Oh. I just threw yours out yeah. thinking okay. that was my pole. You know, I'm gonna tell you right now. Switch your rig. Look. It's not that we can't get confused. No, they look just like the same. Your excuses mean nothing to me. Okay. And I mean, they're, they're, it's a little thump now when they're, that was a thump? Yeah, when they're hitting it, I could tell, you know, it's not like a, it's not like they were the last time we were fishing. Line. Yeah. I'm definitely feeling it. So I think that's what they're in about eight feet for sure. Well, it's always told that between seven and 11. Well, eight falls in that. That it does. I'm going to concur. Eight feet within the seven and eleven. So far, it's not recording. You're doing so well. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am. Are you doing so well? I mean, in my opinion, compared to my You're previous crappie <laughs> experience, yes, I'm killing it. Well, you know, if you think about it, we haven't been here that long. No, but I'm saying our our fishing trips are crappie usually aren't. It's usually one here. Yeah. We drive about three more hours. Yeah. <laughs> Another one. It takes a while to make a video. Though, right? Yeah. So far, my guy's not doing very well. I'm going to the front of the boat. So is my camera. Say goodbye, Chris. I'm going to fish from now on. Getting away from Chris. It's a positive attitude today. It's not that great. Come on out here where it's sunny. It's sunny on my side of the boat. It's always sunny. Chris got another fish. He's chubby. He's a nice fish. Look at that. Chris is the crappie master. You don't know how to use those 12 foot poles yet. He's well, yeah. They're so far away. You know, the fish is 12 I, feet away from me. Reach it. I can't reach the fish. Look at that. Yeah. That's nice. That's a nice little crappie. Should I keep a couple? Yeah, of yeah, we'll throw them away if we catch any bigger ones. Okay. Right, no. that I am thinking about um there are that's all about. 10 or 12 feet from there. But that's not necessarily where I caught him. I know it's casting big. You're casting out there and catching them. Yeah. I mean, this is pretty much right where we were when you caught the other ones. It is, ain't it? I'm thinking about just dropping the anchor right here. Well, anchor's going down, boy. Okay. It makes me wonder if we should be using the bobbers. Well, we got bobbers if you want to try them. But I don't know. I think it's a little too deep. Is that where they're hitting? Yeah, I've, yeah. It's not. 
Bobber. Bobber friendly? You know what? No. We talked about this the other day. Where we think too much. Yeah. We and we don't fish. Thinking. Now, why is that? As soon as I drop the anchor, your buddy, your boat's going out that way. Shut it off. Not thinking time. Fishing time. Go for a self recording. Small, small crappie, but small it's a crappie. tarpon. Hey, you caught five fish, I ain't caught none. Have you got the jig on? I don't know. Maybe I, I think I got a jig. Yeah, I got a jig. Well, I've got a green head. Yeah, uh, you got a jig with a twirly tail, don't you? Like this. Yeah. Yeah, we got the same, same. You're just a better fisherman it's than just, I am. It's just. Man, weird. It's all my luck. My lucky. Lucky. At what up, lucky. Now, now you're getting lucky. lucky now that you're back from Vegas. I know. Supposed to be lucky. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I? Are you? Here. <laughs> that Paul's little thing in a sausage jar there. Look at my partner. Look at my partner. I don't reel it all the way up. Just bring them on in there. That's a nice fish. Look at that. Perfect. What? Still could use more line out on that. Just six foot, six your foot arms, is, your arms are not that six long. feet away from you because the pole is twelve foot. So half <laughs> of twelve is six. Woo. So if you want it near you, you need twelve. You need about yeah. Twelve you like, equals twelve. See about this much. See how that would work. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's ten. Yeah, ten. Okay. Yeah, not six. <laughs> Good six, fish six, though, Chris. Man, you are out fishing me like crazy. I'm just. Ready to throw you off the pier. I mean, I can't even explain what's happening. I'm about ready to throw you off the boat. Anybody knows. Anybody knows what's boat. happening. Boat. It's not. Give me a time. This is Give not time. how I wanted the day to go. I'm sorry. I did want Chris to catch some fish. I mean, he's been in Vegas out screwing Stop around. 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 Oh, I had a fish. You let it go over. Yeah, that's right, man. Oh. I had a bite, had a fish on. Hey, how'd that island get here, Carl? Look at that behind you, to the right of you. This island snuck up on me right here. <laughs> kind of out of the blue. Boom, island. I'm betting you can't step on that. Think I could get out on the island? Yeah, get out there. <laughs> That's pretty, uh, you don't look very stable. Uh-uh. I mean, I'm no island expert, but that's... Well, I had another bite, so that just makes me feel a little bit better. Knowing that I can miss a fish. Yeah, just knowing that they're out there. Yeah. Just give me a little bit of hope. Just a little glimmer of hope. That's all I have. Just a little glimmer of hope that I can catch a fish like Chris. Oh, I was going to tell you, we went into, I think it was the Golden Nugget. I've heard of that. Or it was, I, I, it was one of the ones that was downtown, and they had this big tank, this big fish tank. Yeah. And guess what was in it? Crappie. Big old bull reds. Really? I mean, <laughs> and, uh, and Jack's. Jack's Valley. Bull red. That's crazy. I was like, man, I come out all the way here to Nevada and there's the bull red. Ah, that's funny. That it was outside and you couldn't go out there. It was like in the pool area or a restaurant or something. Oh. But I could see it, you know, from the from inside the lobby area or whatever it was there. So I didn't video it, but you know. It was just I was naturally drawn to it. Yeah. I think you could fish for them. Hmm. 
Probably not. Yeah, I probably didn't see it, but I caught one just like this earlier. I don't know if you saw it or not, and I did catch a crappie, and I don't know if that was on there. All I know is they were out there deeper, deeper than we've been fishing. So I'm gonna throw it back out there in the deep. You seem to be hanging out at the 12 foot mark on the bottom of the river. So I'm, somehow I got him in the six foot of water, so that's not good. So I gotta get us back out to the uh, deeper water. Those warm mouths like the uh, that old white jig I got. Yeah. Oh. Do I have in yours? Battery dying. Time to catch a fish. Sick. So that's three fish I got within, within probably 10 minutes. In the first three hours, holy five. In the first three hours, I didn't catch a fish. But that's how it goes. Every time we fish, that's how it is. With you and I. It's like Yule catching fish. Yule? Yep. Like the Yule time. Uh oh, I'm missing my hot dog. Hot dog. Kind of kiss it on my hot dog. Fat kids, skinny kids. Kids who climb on rocks. Tough kids, sissy kids. Even kids with chicken pox. Love hot dogs. Oh, we're hot dogs. I liked all my hot dogs. On the ground. Just gotta put one of those little maggot things on there. Hey, kids with COVID. Hey. <laughs> COVID kids. Uh. Kids who wear a mask. Paul has a fish. Paul. It's actually you know, like a tight my good fish. Fish. Yeah, good lord. Manly bluegill right there now. It means business. Come here, buddy. Caught him right in the forehead. Just see where I had him hooked. <laughs> a nice one. This call me Mr. Bluegill. Yeah. Oh, you know what that is? What a warm mouth. That's what bites here. That's what bites here. He's got pretty eyes. Look how green his eye is. The little green part of his eye. I don't think that's a warm, is that a warm mouth? Oh no, I think that's one of those other kind Bluegill of thing? Sunfish, yeah. Sunfish. Sun. For fish. Well, I was just down in the... Down in the depths. Down in the depths, just cruising. All I was doing was just cruising, relaxing, chilling, chillacking. Motor shut off, everything's happening. 